my name is Jerry Good Jr. and I am the owner of Jerry Good Jr. Digital Daily Network. And today I'm going to talk about why seven figures per year. You need to focus on becoming a millionaire. So I want to educate everybody who's listening today. We live in a different time now. A long time ago we could work an average job, make average income. You could get a nice house, be in a nice neighborhood, and basically you can take care of everything. And as a masculine man of God, we understand that we're the rarest form of man on the planet. Because we not only focus on God in everything we do, but also we're bold, we're ambitious, and we're generous. So with me, as a business owner, I have my personal training studio for almost 14 years now. And having my personal training studio as I've established it to the point where I'm the owner and I take care of everything. And there's a different kind of power in that because I built my business on integrity. I built my life on integrity. People know I'm a man of God. I stand behind what I believe and I don't compromise. So when I own my facility, and you run everything, it's a different power. You're able to take in clients that you want, not necessarily because you're so desperate to get somebody in your building. You're able to have the people you want to push your, your brand and establish you as an individual. So let's take that same mindset in your life in general. I always tell people, not only do I have a passion for personal training, but also have a passion for being a referee. I referee four different sports on the highest level. And so just last week, I came off a four day event at the Virginia Beach Sportsplex. So one of the things you understand, me being a business owner, successful business owner, I'm able to make my own schedule. So in order to be available at that event, you have to have your own schedule. So if you're working a nine to five, you're not even, most people can't even take off that Thursday and Friday to even be in that event, even if they are a top official. So that's flexibility to make more income. But also let's look at it from the standpoint of these kids and the parents. You gotta understand these parents are spending money on everything. They're spending money in the hotels, they're spending money on getting the kids registered each and every week. So in Virginia Beach, you know, in the summertime, the rates go up even higher. So it's a different mindset. So you have to have money in order to be established enough to have your kid excel in these areas. So let's look at dealing with real estate or being in an area where you can grow. If you want to be in a nice neighborhood, you need to project at least $500,000, especially in the state of Virginia. Because the fact is, the neighborhood you're going to be in, the area you want to be in, without having violence, without having corruption, without having things that's going on, that you can have peace, have enough square footage, and have enough things around you, not only is your house, has value but other houses around you have value so that's why I say you need to strive to become a multi-millionaire because that should be your focus once you get that out of the way and you're able as a masculine man of God you're able to run everything so you're not concerned about other people's wealth you can do everything on your own and that's power in that and once you have that type of power then it escalates to peace of mind. When I know I can live a five-star luxury lifestyle based on myself, then there's a certain power behind it. And most of us, as a masculine man of God, you should want that. You should want your own business. You should want to create your garden on garden of Eden on earth. So that's why I say strive to be a millionaire, multi-millionaire, because 
once you have the income out of the way, and as a masculine man of God, we already know that we have God first, so he's going to be working through us to be a blessing to so many people. Blessings flow through us so we can expand, so we can grow. And the vision God has for us is phenomenal. We're chosen. So if he's chosen us for a big vision, we have to have a, a big income coming in so we don't have no problem with making that vision become a reality. And I always tell people, when some people who don't have any goals in life and they don't focus on their purpose and passionate about their purpose and putting God first, why would God give you those millions of dollars? You're not going to do anything with it anyway. So, but when you have a purpose, I know the big dreams I have. I know, I remember John McCain. And he was running for president. And he said when the economy was, for everybody, it was a lot, so many people were going down, he said the economy is fundamentally sound. The reason being, John McCain had eight homes. He's able to travel the world. He don't see things from that perspective. He has the resources. He's able to make things become a reality because he has the resources. So you got to think bigger. My goal is at least have no less than seven different properties around the United States and around the world. Because as I grow and I own the C&J officials with my um, cousin, we're constantly growing. And I always tell people, this year we have 50 plus officials that work for us alone now. That we're able to employ and put them to work and they're professional uh, referees. So now as we grow, we're gonna expand not only in Virginia, but abroad. So that's why I said, you need to make millions of dollars. Your goal is to be a millionaire and make a million each year. That way you'll be in the abundance mindset. God can work through you and God can supply you with everything in abundance. You need to keep that in mind. For much given, much is required. So I just wanted to talk to all the people who striving to be master men of God. We are the ones in control. We don't blame anybody. Once you become a masculine man of God, your past can be restored and recovered because now you know I need to be the man. I can't blame anybody around me. I need to bring the Garden of Eden on earth. I need to change the atmosphere. I need to be the one who people look for resources and, stuff, and I can supply resources. That's wealth itself. Once you have resources, access to different things, and you constantly growing, and you have money, you can be a blessing to people. Money is not the root to all evil. It's the love of money. And the people who do the most complaining about the money is the ones who don't have it. If you don't want money, then why are you working so much? If money is not an issue or something that you don't expire to do, so why are you working so many hours? Why are you trying to play the lottery? So it is. But you have to have a different mindset. You need to work outwork everybody, but also you need to play the game of chess. Patience is power. You build your wealth. And once you become that multi-millionaire and you're a masculine man of God, that's the phenomenal world to be in. That's a phenomenal life. Now you have arrived. Now you have the life you've always dreamed of. Because now you live in your purpose. You're on the grind constantly, but you're doing what you love. And that's the definition of success. It's not about retirement. It's about financial freedom. So I encourage each person today, masculine men and God, step up to the plate. We are the leaders. We are the ones going to change the world. The average is no longer acceptable. You have to be phenomenal and you got to want to create well so you can create and be in a leadership position and have your own in all areas of your life so focus on that focus on being great keep God first and he will take you to the top we're supposed to be at the top of the mountain so God can work through us to be a blessing to the world God bless